Coke. It fucking kills you. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. And it's starting out as a usual day at the swap meet. You have superheroes walking around. One of my subscribers asked me, and I just wanted to answer this question. The question was, is it difficult selling video games at the swap meet? And you know what? I have to say, well, yeah, it's definitely difficult to sell video games at the swap meet. I was talking with my buddy Nicholas, the evil French gamer, and he said, you know what? It doesn't really matter if it's 25%, 50% off eBay price. Some people just won't pay. It doesn't really make a difference how much the discount is. So where is the motivation to sell under eBay? eBay price. There really is none. But it's kind of funny. My buddy Nicholas, the evil French gamer, actually has a little bit of experience now. He became a video game seller for a day to sell off some of his spare video game accessories. Here's the little interview I conducted with him at the end of the day at the swap meet, just to give you a perspective of a video game collector turned video game seller for 24 hours. I'm here with my buddy Nick, and he actually was selling today for the first time. He was actually selling off some extra video games, and he experienced what it was like being a video game seller out here in the wild. How was it? That was tough. That was tough. People are bargaining all the time. Even 50% off eBay, you still don't sell it. So yeah, and that's you know that's kind of one of the reasons why I think resellers like me, resellers, we just stick to eBay prices now because it really doesn't make a fucking difference. You know, no one's happy if they can't find it for like a dollar. You yeah, know that's what actually I mean? pretty sad that you can make more money on eBay than selling on Swap. I used to think if I could buy something for $35 on eBay, or I could go somewhere and buy it for $35 and have it in my hands right now, you'd think that's better, right? That's better. The thing is, even at 20 bucks, they don't buy it. Right, they don't buy it. So, <laughs> I'll give you $20 to buy it. It's tough. It's tough. Yeah. But it's Very fun, difficult. though. It is fun. I mean, I had a great time, dude. At least now I know you've got my back. You at least know the true experience of what it's like. Yeah, I know. You know it's what I mean? It's very difficult. But my buddy, the Fluffy Gamer, I love him, but I couldn't even get Fluffy to, to buy the Miracle Piano for me today. I said, take it for $15. 15 bucks? Yes, he still wouldn't take it. That's because he, he spent all his money yeah! on my booth. He spent all so. his money at your booth, damn it. <laughs> Thanks, Fluffy. <laughs> Thanks, Fluffy. All right, so let's go over some of the video game related items that I picked up over the last few weeks or month. I picked up this real cool PlayStation 1 and 2 Blaze double joystick controller. Now this is actually worth about 80 to 90 dollars and I scored it for a freaking incredible price. Five dollars before Fast Walk John could get to it. I also scored this really nice Coca-Cola collector's edition pinball machine. Now I paid 50 dollars for this and it's actually worth over 200 dollars. <laughs> Okay, actually it's worth $400 now. This is actually the Coca-Cola Collector's Pinball Deluxe Edition. Now I also scored this really cool Halo 3 Collector's Edition helmet. It doesn't come with the game or anything inside, which is fine with me because I actually just wanted it for the helmet on display to be watched over at night and whispered sweet nothings by Mr. Master Chief. I also picked up a couple Nintendo NES systems that needed to be repaired. It won't take me much to repair them and it will cost me about 14 to 15 bucks and they will work as good as new, and I can sell them to someone who wants to sit on their ass, get stoned, stuff their face full of Cheetos, and kill some ducks. I also picked up some really cool PC games, including Star Wars Rebel Assault 2 and Wing Commander 4. These are both the large box PC versions, and they're actually worth about $15 each. I also picked up the World of Nintendo Legend of Zelda Link figure and the World of Nintendo Metroid figure for only $10 each, and I believe those are worth about $25 a piece. Now I got real lucky and scored a Sega 32X complete in box for 50 bucks. A gentleman had already been rifling through it and it actually seemed like he was gonna buy it, but actually I leaned in towards him and kind of whispered, hey man, if you don't want it, I'll take it. I'm a collector. I'll buy you a couple chicken tacos, a Corona with lime, and we'll call it even. What do you say? Well, he liked the sound of that. I gave him $10 for his troubles and it worked out. So I ended up paying 60 bucks for it. I know it's worth about $100. Not bad. I actually sold off one a while ago when I needed the money for for hookers and blow, um, that's not true. Obviously, I'm very happy to get one back. Now, one of my favorite items I picked up actually is not video game related, but it is The Matrix related, and I am a big fan of The Matrix. I get a gentle giant Neo mini bust. I get all three of The Matrix movies. I get the Animatrix animated series, The Matrix revisited for each movie, and a couple other special edition items, including a book. I scored this for $5 at Book Off. It was almost a steal. It was almost like stealing candy from a baby. It's almost like stealing chocolate cake from a fat kid. It was just kind of terrible. But I'm quite happy that I have it now in my collection. 
Now one thing I'm damn proud to have in my collection now is the Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the complete series on DVD. That's right, the complete collection. Before there was Twilight, before there was Robert Patterson sucking on Kristen Stewart's face, there was Angel and Buffy. And it's okay, it's okay to admit that because this show's badass and I'm stoked to have one of the best vampire shows ever in my collection. Oh yeah. Batman the Animated Series Volume 3 on DVD. I now have Volume 1 through 3 as I'm not really interested in Volume 4 as it's kind of a Batman spin-off that they kind of like lumped together with this series. Just super stoked to have this and if you have not seen Batman the Animated Series, I am ashamed of you. So ashamed that you need to go outside and start counting the blades of freaking grass in your front lawn until you watch this show. Buy it on eBay right now. Literally, please, God, just buy this series right now or else you will have seven years bad luck and a small kid in Somalia will starve to death for five years. We don't want that. Especially when for just 60 cents a day you could save the life of that Somalian child. Only 10 cents less than saving the life of a canine. And last but not least, I got The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess in HD for the Nintendo Wii U. This one did come with a really cool amiibo, and I'm not a collector of amiibos, but I am a collector of Zelda. Anything special edition Zelda, so I am one of the people who hopes one day this will be worth millions upon trillions of dollars. It probably won't, it'll probably be worth exactly the same thing, probably about five dollars less, but um, hey, you know, a man can dream. So guys, thank you so much for joining me on Confessions of a Video Game Seller, episode 28. My name is Leo the Video Game Guy. Please comment in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're for some crazily reason not subscribed. And if you like this video, guys, I will literally send you one, um, uh, uh, one Monica Lewinsky. Literally, I will send you a real-life Monica Lewinsky. You will have a Monica Lewinsky at your doorstep within five seconds of hitting the like button. I'm not joking. God knows what you can do with your own Monica Lewinsky. That's Quentin. Okay, guys, thank you so much. This is Leo the Video Game Guy. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace! What is going on? Why are all these superheroes walking around this lobby? It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a bunch of superheroes. <laughs> <laughs>